solve this exponential equation, where, x is a complex number. The given equation can be written as, 2 cubed all to the power of x, plus 4, equals 2 squared all to the power of x, plus 2 to the power of x plus 2. We know that, a to the power of m, all to the power of n, equals a to the power of mn, which is equal to a to the power of nm, which equals a to the power of n, all to the power of m. By applying this, 2 cubed all to the power of x, is equal to, 2 the power of x all cubed. 2 squared all to the power of x, is equal to, 2 the power of x all squared. We know that, a to the power of m plus n, equals a to the power of m, times a to the power of n. By applying this, 2 to the power of x plus 2, can be written as, 2 squared, times 2 to the power of x. Now we let y equal 2 to the power of x. Then equation 1 can be written as, y cubed, plus 4, equals y squared, plus 4y. Rearrange the equation, we have, y cubed, minus y squared, minus 4y, plus 4, equals 0. y cubed, minus y squared, have a common factor y squared, and they can be factorized and written as, y squared times y minus 1. Negative 4y, plus 4, have a common factor 4, and they can be factorized and written as, negative 4 times y minus 1. Now two terms have a common factor y minus 1, so they can be factorized and written as, y minus 1, times y squared minus 4. So either y equals 1, or y squared equals 4. That is, either y equals 1, or y equals 2, or y equals negative 2. Because y equals 2 to the power of x, so either 2 to the power of x, equals 1, or 2 to the power of x, equals 2, or 2 to the power of x, equals negative 2. The problem can be divided into three cases. Case 1, 2 to the power of x, equals 1. Case 2, 2 to the power of x, equals 2. Case 3, 2 to the power of x, equals negative 2. For case 1, taking log to the base 2 of both sides of the equation, we have, log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x, equals log to the base 2 of 1. We know that, log to the base b of, x to the power of n, equals n times log to the base b of x. By applying this, log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x, equals x times log to the base 2 of 2, which is equal to, x times 1, which is x log to the base 2 of 1, is 0. So x equals 0. For case 2, taking log to the base 2 of both sides of the equation, we have, log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x, equals log to the base 2 of 2. Again, log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x, equals x times log to the base 2 of 2, which is equal to, x times 1, which is x. Log to the base 2 of 2, is 1. So x equals 1. For case 3, taking log to the base 2 of both sides of the equation, we have, log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x, equals log to the base 2 of negative 2. Note that, logarithm of a negative number is undefined, if the variable takes real numbers. However, logarithm of a negative number is defined, when the variable takes complex numbers. We have already known, log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of x, equals x. So we can now write, x equals log to the base 2 of negative 2. Next we need to evaluate the logarithm of a negative number. A clever way of getting rid of the negative 2, is using Euler's identity. We know that, e to the power of i pi, plus 1 equals 0. So e to the power of i pi, equals negative 1. We know that, it still holds when adding 2 k pi. That is, e to the power of, i times pi plus 2 k pi, equals negative 1. Where k is an integer. Then negative 2 can be written as, 2 times, e to the power of, i times pi plus 2 k pi. Therefore, x equals log to the base 2 of, 2 times, e to the power of, i times pi plus 2 k pi. We know that, log to the base b of a, can be written as, lin a over lin b. 
By applying this, we can now write, equals, lin of 2 times e to the power of, i times pi plus 2 k pi, over lin 2. We know that, log to the base b of x times y, equals log to the base b of x, plus log to the base b of y. By applying this, the numerator can be written as, lin of 2, plus lin of e to the power of, i times pi plus 2 k pi, which is equal to, i times pi plus 2 k pi. Thus, x equals lin of 2, plus i times pi plus 2 k pi, over lin of 2. Where k is an integer. So in summary, there are two real number solutions, and a family of complex number solutions.